Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level of Maths Paper 1 for 2022 and I'm going to have a look at question 1. So in question 1a it asks us to find two values of m which are elements of z, they're integers, for which the following equation in x has exactly one solution. Okay, so we have uh, 3x squared minus mx plus 3 equal to 0 and we want to find uh, two values of m. Okay, so if it has exactly one solution, then the discriminant must be equal to zero. So remember, our discriminant here is b squared minus 4ac, and we want that to equal zero. Our a here is 3, b is uh, minus m, and c is plus 3. So let's do that then. So we want b squared, so minus m squared minus 4 times a, which is 3. Multiply that by c, which is 3, and that must equal to 0. So all we've got to do is solve for m. So let's see, we, here we have m squared. Here we've got minus 3 4 is 12. 3 12 is 36 equal to 0. So that will give us um, m squared is equal to 36. And finally then m is going to be equal to plus and minus 6. So there are two values for m. Now you could check that if you wanted to. I mean it's not absolutely necessary but let's just do that over here. Uh, we started with, so this is a check. It didn't ask us to do this, it's not necessary so don't worry about it. Um, we had 3x squared now the, the m, I'm going to put in the minus, uh, I'm going to put in the plus 6 first actually. So it's minus m. So if m is plus 6, then it's minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. So you can see we can, um, well we just factorize, we could divide across by 3. We factorize here, we get 3x, x, 3 times 1. It's a plus, so we need a minus, minus. Uh, that'll give us 3x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 equal to 0. That'll give us 3x is equal to 3, or x is equal to 1. Also over here, bring the 1 over, you get x is equal to 1. So there would be our two roots. So um, we do only get one, we do only get one solution here when x is, when m rather is 6. So let's try the minus 6 then just to see if that works. It should work as well. So we have, let's see, that's part 1. Let's see, we have 3x squared. Now minus m, so it's going to be minus minus 6, which is plus 6, plus 3 equal to 0. So same thing again. You're going to get the same numbers, different signs here. So it's going to be 3x times x, 3 times 1, plus times plus. In this case, you can see here you're going to get x is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 here. So again, we only get one solution. So if m is plus 6, we get one solution, which is x equal to 1. If m is minus 6, we also get only one solution, x is equal to minus 1. Okay, so that's the first part. Again, remember you didn't have to do this bit in red here. You just had to find the, the two solutions for m. Okay, so let's have a look at the next part then. Explain why the following equation in x has no real solutions. Okay, well there's, let's see, a couple of ways of doing this. Um, let's see, what can we do? Let's have a look. We have 2x plus 3 squared plus 7 equal to 0. You can bring the 7 over here, so you've got 2x plus 3 all squared is equal to minus 7. So that would give us... Um, 2x plus 3 is equal to the square root of minus 7. So that is, that's, uh, you can't, you're not going to get any real solutions when you find the square root of minus 7. So that means no real solutions. Um, also, let's see, we put uh, or here you could say something like uh, 2x plus 3 squared is going to be bigger than or equal to 0. Minus 7 is less than 0, therefore also no real solutions.
Okay, because we have our 2x plus 3 squared on this side equal to minus 7, but the 2x plus 3 all squared has to be positive or equal to 0. Minus 7 is not, so no real solutions. Uh, the other thing you could possibly uh, do is maybe multiply all that out. Uh, let's see, let me put another or here. Let's multiply it out and see what happens. So I'm going to multiply this out. So that'll give us, um, let's see, 4x squared plus 236 plus 12x plus 9 plus 7 equal to 0. So that'll give us uh, 4x squared plus 12x plus 16 equal to 0. And we can divide across by 4 here, so that'll give us x squared plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. I'll just come up here now. Uh, if we try to factorize that, we're not going to be able to do it, but um, if you do the, use the minus b formula, the quadratic formula, to try and solve it, you'll get a negative uh, underneath the square root. If we just look at the discriminant, for example, b squared minus 4ac, so that's going to be underneath the square root, remember. So let's see, what would we get? We would get b squared, well, b is 3, so we square that, minus 4 times a, which is 1, our c is 4. So what does that give us? That gives us 9 minus 16. So that's uh, minus 7. So minus 7 is less than 0, therefore, again, uh, no real solution. No real solutions there. Okay, so a few ways of doing that, and there may be others that I can't think of at the moment, but there are three ways anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at the next part then. It says, uh, show that x is equal to minus 1 is not a solution to 3x uh, squared. Let's see, we write that down. 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. So really all you've got to do there is put in the minus 1. So we're going to have Let's see, 3 minus 1 squared plus 2x plus 5, that's equal to uh, 1 squared is 1, so we have 3 plus, oh, I left out the, let me just go back here a little bit, so we've got to put the minus 1 in there as well, plus 5 equal to 0, but let's see what we would get, we would get 3 minus 2 plus 5, that's equal to 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, that is not equal to 0, therefore x is equal to minus 1 is not a solution to 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Now the other thing you could do there actually is uh, if x minus one, if x equal to minus one is a root, then x plus one is a factor, and you could just divide it in, and you should end up with a remainder. So um, I'll actually, I think I'm going to end up doing that in the next section. So I might just leave that to the next section. But you could do that here as well. Just divide um, x plus one into three x squared, and so on, and you should end up with some kind of a remainder. Okay, so. Let's just have a look at the next uh, question. Find the remainder when 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is divided by x plus 1. So we've got to do the long division there. Uh, well, there is actually another way of doing it if we, read, if we read the next part of the question. That is, find the value of c when 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is written in that form there, uh, where a, b, and c are integers. Now, let's just do it. Um, by doing the long division first. So I was going to do this in the previous section, but let's do it now. So we have x plus 1, and we're going to divide that into 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. So x into 3x squared is 3x. Multiply the 3x by x, you get 3x squared. Plus times plus is plus 3x when we multiply it by 1. Subtract. So this becomes minus, so we end up here with minus x. Bring down the 5, start again. x into minus x is minus 1. Multiply now, minus x, minus times plus is minus, uh, 1 times 1 is 1. 
So this will disappear. This becomes a plus here. So we end up with a remainder of 6 here. So find the remainder. So that means, therefore, our answer then is, our answer is remainder is 6. So that's one way of doing it. Now, they do give us another bit of information here that we could, another way of doing it, if you like. So they're saying that um, 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 can be written in this form here. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is multiply out the right-hand side, equate coefficients, and see what kind of uh, answers we get here. So let's, let's just do that. So we have... Uh, 3x squared, so this is, I'll put or here as well, it's another way of doing it. So we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 1 times ax plus b plus c. Let's see what we get when we equate these, uh, when we multiply this out and equate the coefficients. So on the right-hand side, or left-hand side, I'll just leave that there. On the right-hand side, let's see, we've got ax squared plus bx plus ax plus b plus c. Now, if I just factorize the x's, so we have ax squared plus b plus a times x. I just factorized out the x's here plus b plus c. Now remember that's equal to 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. If these are equal then the coefficient of the x squared must be equal. That, that, that implies then that a must be equal to 3. The coefficient of the x's must be equal. So a plus b must be equal to 2. So that must be equal to that there. And also then b plus c must be equal to 5. So let's see what we get here. We weren't really asked for uh, b, a and b, I think, here. We were just asked for, it says, find the value of c. Yeah, we were just asked for the value of c here. So let's just use these equations here to find what c is. Well, if a is 3, then, that would mean you'd have 3 plus b is equal to 2, which would give you b is equal to minus 1. So that's just bringing that down there. And if we come up here, then if b is minus 1, we've got minus 1 plus c is equal to 5. That would give us c is equal to 5 and 1 is 6. So c is equal to 6 there. So that's the other way of doing it. So we got a remainder of 6 up here, and we had to find, uh, find the value of c here. The remainder is 6 here as well. Yeah. So c is our, c is our answer here then is also 6. Okay, and that's it for this particular question.